people of God. So Tormal, Hugh, Cry, Babel. So she babbles a lot. So remember, God said it's not good to be a babbler. A babbler is, let's just go to the Bible quickly. Talks about Babel, right? Babbler. So she's a gossiper and a slanderer. And we're going to talk about how what she does. Surely the serpent will bite without enchantment and a babbler is no better. So someone that sows discord. She sows discord amongst families and she destroys the family unit, the marriage unit. So she sends whorlets. She sends sexual perversion, sexual immorality. She uses sex as a tool to destroy homes she you you understand so that's how she destroys people's marriages um as you can see in these videos this woman delivered the spirit husband marine kingdom and rahab was destroying her marriage rahab was speaking through her so she attacks the voices of the prophets and she attacks people's mind she used, she does moon magic to make people unconscious, wipe people's memories, destroy like a husband and wife to cause chaos and disorder in the marriage with the children, with the family, with the friends, anybody who associates with them because it's all because of pride. So anybody you see who operate like that, who talk and slander you and sow discord among your friends or among your family, this spirit tries to isolate you tries to alienate you, tries to you, sow a lot of division. It's a divider, sows chaos and disorder and madness. And she puts the spirit of madness on people. So, you know, once people talk the truth, she, she makes people think that they're crazy. This is the tool that and the weapon that the Rahab spirit does on the prophets and the seers of God. That's how dangerous it is. It's very, very, very dangerous. Um, so you, and, and it's not talked about a lot because she cloaks herself in like, did you know that residents of, Ontario she cloaks herself in being like good when she's not, she infiltrated Isaiah the church. One nine and 10 associates Rahab with the dragon spirit. Rahab works to knock the wind out of you, squash your courage and quench your prophetic. Flow. Oh yeah. I didn't mention to say that she also uses the spirit of fear. And the spirit of, like, she uses the spirit of fear to destroy people's courage from for them not to speak the truth about God. She, put, she puts fear and traumas on people. You can discern and defeat the Rahab spirit in the Spiritual Warrior's Guide to Defeating Water Spirits. So that's, like, something you can look at. But we're going to go deeper in dismantling the spirit so you're aware. And that it's in other actually it may bleed over into four but um i have been trying for about a week to upload this footage and um i've been unsuccessful so, because the rahab spirit uh, doesn't want the I'm church to, to find out because she infiltrated the church go take a look at the footage identify the topic because i can be long-winded you can and, watch um, this if you so like i just want you to get a good understanding of how dangerous the spirit is this is the last time last days evil very very wicked spirit now revelation 17 and 15 and he said unto me the waters which thou saw where the horse sits are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues now in isaiah 27 and 1 in that day with his sore and great strong sword god shall punish leviathan the piercing serpent even leviathan that crook serpent and he shall slay the dragon that's in the sea so who is this dragon the whorlet isaiah 57 and 3 but draw near hither you sons of the sorceress the seed of the adulterer and the whore so she is the the sorceress and the adulterer and the whore isaiah 57 and 4 against whom do you sport yourselves because she's prideful and arrogant against whom do you wake a wide mouth because she's a babbler and draw out the tongue are you not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood? 
she's a whorelet, inflaming yourself with idols under every green tree, slaying the children in the valleys under the clefts of the rock. She slays the innocent. She sheds innocent blood. Revelation 7 and 1. And there came out of the seven... Uh, one, and there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me saying come unto me come hither I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore so she is the great whore that sits upon many waters that sits upon many waters Revelation 17 and 16 and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire that's her with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the fornication with the wine of her fornication the great whore so in doctrine and covenants 86 and 3 and after they have fallen asleep the great persecutor of the church she's a persecutor of the church she does religious persecution so let's put in religious persecution for those of you who don't know what religious persecution is because God really wants this information out I, I like because the last time I did it she was attacking attacking me and yeah so what it, religious persecution is a systematic mistreatment she blackballs people I told you about the isolation and alienation. She does this to the prophets and seers and people who speak the truth about God. Light workers. Religious persecution is a systematic mistreatment of an individual or a group of individuals as a response to their religious beliefs or affiliations or their lack thereof. This is what she does. She's the great persecutor of the church of God. She's a great persecutor of those who speak the truth and those who live holy those who want monogamous marriages because she's polygamous and after they have fallen asleep the great persecutor of the church the apostate the whore even Babylon that that makes all nations to drink of her cup in whose hearts the enemy even Satan sits to reign behold he sows the tears wherefore the tears choke the wheat and drive the church into a wilderness so you see about her driving the church into the wilderness she isolates people she alienates people she blackballs people she blacklists people she does this to the people who speak the truth she sets up organizations against such people revelations 8 and 10 and the third angel sounded and there fell uh, so anybody who has the spirit of Rahab, that's what they do. The third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of water. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. So when it's talking about her end is wor um, more dangerous than Wormwood, it's talking about her as well. So let me get back to it. I guess, I don't know, for some reason it came off. So I'm going to go back. So yeah, the great whore. She's the great whore of Babylon. Bitter as Wormwood. So when it talks about the wormwood and the water, it's talking about this woman as well. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. God is talking about her. I don't know why it came off of here. But yeah, you see where it talks right here in Revelations 8 and 11. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. Because um, this woman here. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. She's the strange woman in, in also Proverbs chapter 5. For the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, and her steps take hold on hell. Remember it told you that she she's um she's chaos and hell. She's in hell and on earth. All right, her feet end in the sea, and her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on hell, lest thou should ponder 
the path of life. Her ways are movable, that thou cannot know them, because she does a lot of sorcery and witchcraft. Hear me now, therefore, O you children, and depart not from the words of my mouth, to keep thee from an evil woman and a strange woman. And this is the way how that spirit operates, right? So, back to the scriptures. Revelations 19 and 2. For true and righteous are his judgments, for he has judged the great whore. She is the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornications and has avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. Who is God's servants, the prophets and the seers and the light workers, people who work light and speak truth? Because what does she do? She attacks the voices and the prophets of the seers, the marriages and the holy ways of God. And we can the the great church will tumble. Um, I want I I just need that from Doctrine and Covenants. I don't know why it's here. Not here. I'm just gonna pull it up quickly. Tumble and fall. I want that scripture so you get a wider understanding. Horus of Babylon. Uh, forgive me. This is it. They got it. People of God. 29 and 21. Bear with me. Just pulling it up. I want you to get the great understanding of this. this whore of all the earth right it also talks about her hair oh my goodness here it is this is it thank you father doctrine and covenants 29 and 21 and the great and abominable church which is the whore of all the earth shall be cast down by devouring fire according as it is spoken by the mouth of ezekiel the prophet who spoke of these things which have not yet come to pass but surely must as i live for abominations shall not reek whore is babylon her and after they have fallen asleep the great persecutor of the church the apostate the whore even Babylon that makes all nations to drink of her cup and whose hearts the enemy even Satan sits reign behold he sows the tears wherefore the tears choke the wheat and drive the church into the wilderness and I wanted to go about there is something and it's in Nephi pretty sure it's in Nephi I think it's in Nephi right here okay yeah, Nephi 22 and 13. And the blood of that great and abominable church, which the whore of all the earth shall turn upon their own heads, for they shall war amongst themselves, and the sword of their own hands shall fall upon their own heads, and they shall be drunken with their own blood. And every nation which shall war against the house of Israel shall turn one against another, and they shall fall into the pit which they dig to ensnare the people of the Lord. And all that fight against Zion shall be destroyed, and that great whore, that great whore who has perverted the right ways of the Lord. Yeah, that great and abominable church shall tumble to the dust and great shall be the fall of it. So remember, daughter of Zion fights this whore because daughter of Zion is holy. She keeps the ways of God. The whore doesn't. The whore destroys marriages. I just wanted to get that out there. So, and she persecutes religious she does religious persecution the spirit of rahab and she takes over the voices of the prophets do you see how dangerous this devil is spirit of atonement from these things so you like chaos all right demons and spirits it, she is a demon chaos creatures personifying death all right and the monster rahab now some of these monsters called rehab 
from chaos to the cosmos. All right, so let's get back to the scriptures. I don't want to hold you. I just wanted to break that down properly. So we got that part of the scripture I wanted to get. And the third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and the wormwood. So we went through that. Let me go back down. So the, the lips of a strange woman, it's talking about her in, in, Proverbs, in Proverbs chapter 5. For true and Revelation is 19 and 2. For true and righteous are his judgments. For he has judged the great whore which did corrupt the earth with her fornication as an avenge the blood of his servants at her hand. He avenged the prophets and the seers. Now Proverbs 23 and 27. For a whore is a deep ditch, and a strange woman is a narrow pit. Proverbs 23 and 27. For a whore is a deep ditch. Oh, sorry, it's there twice. Now Leviticus 19 and 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whoredom, and the land become full of wickedness. Leviticus 21 and 7. They shall not take a wife that is a whore or profane. Neither shall they take a woman put away from her husband, for he is holy unto his God. So no man is supposed to take a wife for a whore, a woman who's profane, or another ma or someone who's put away from their husband. God just wanted me to read those scriptures to you. And these are the things that the spirit of Rahab does. She causes you to leave your wife to fornicate whoredoms, the whore of all the earth. Do you understand? The mystery whorelet. And this is what God wants you to understand, that she has been attacking the church and attacking the right ways of the Lord. Attacking holiness, attacking righteousness, attacking the families and the marriages. And um, this is her with daughter Zion. Um, in Micah 7 and 10. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is thy, where is the Lord thy God? My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trotted down as mare of the streets. So um, she's going to be trotted down like mare of the streets. And God wants you to understand this. And please take this up with fasting and prayer. And we're going to just, I guess I'll play a little bit of this woman's testimony, but you, here is the description here so you can look it up. And then another woman w w was attacking her marriage in her voice. Try to chop them up uh, into topics so it's not one long file that is actually speaking. Okay, just speed her up. Um, given that, let me jump on into what I want to talk about. About three and a half weeks ago, maybe closer to four weeks ago, but less than a month ago, I went to a church here in Hawaii. I had been attending services um, and on Sundays and, and, and just sharing in fellowship uh, while the Lord is establishing our temple here. Um, I um, had reached some resistance when I was attending this church um, from leadership, but um, it was more of a, a competitive thing that they had going on in their family life groups. One group they have is competing with another group, and they're all trying to grab people to be part of their groups. And it was a lot of funky things going on. So I acquiesced as far as being a part of that aspect of the church. But the fellowship at this church was phenomenal. In the spring of 2018, I myself, I witnessed angels and recorded them there. Um, the leadership i'm talking about the senior pastors i okay let's see once that takes place there are battalions waiting on the other side of this video um i need you guys to understand that as a fourth watchman i deal with the supernatural i can see things that other people cannot see it to his prophets mark my words he is revealing you're not hiding from the prophets we see you we see you we see you you understand we see you we see you so um if that's um a warning to you please take heed please take heed 
because we say it in love, we see you. Okay, let's see what she's talking and about. And while in fourth watch, and, and there were uh, there was um, a witness, and uh, actually there was more than one witness. Hatred, everything that is pure, wrath and vent, but not from a righteous aspect of God. It is evil. It is demonic. It is huge, and it is in the churches. It is literally in the churches right now, and I'm not realizing uh oh not realizing what it was in its total capacity of how monstrous this demon is that the father just gave me authority to remove gave me authority to remove showed it to me showed it to me told me what to say how to say it how to remove it everything this thing is so demonic and monstrous it is literally described as violence, chaos, hatred, everything that is pure wrath and vain, but not from a righteous aspect of God. It is evil, it is demonic, it is huge, and it is in the churches. It is literally in the churches right now. And I went in warfare against this thing, but I need to make you aware of what is taking place. You say, what is Raha? As I was coming out of the portal, I heard Isaiah 51 9. And as I came out and I went into prayer, the I was coming down Always. and my soul was returning to my body. And, caught, yeah. and the witness that was with that was in intercession with me, and there were some other people that were physical physically with me as I was coming down and they were watching me come down and they were watching me calm and, and come into, you know, back into a state of Shema peace. Um, and out of straight up warfare, um, I remembered, I came to myself and I remembered, wait a minute, I said, the Lord gave us a, a, a scripture to, to say, a scripture, and it was Isaiah 51, and I go and I grab my Bible, still in the presence of the angels, and still on, the, uh, on, on, on communication with another intercessory warfare, um, uh, child See how she and, said and chaos, in right? The company of witnesses that were around me, and I began to read Isaiah 51 um, 9. And but I'm gonna, you know, read above it and below it in a second. But as I read you these scriptures, I'm gonna hold off so that you, you see that what I'm getting ready to share with you is in the Bible. It is in the Bible. I had a supernatural experience first. I'll leave this. You guys can see this. I'll, I'll add it in the description so you can watch the whole video. But I want you to take attention to detail. She said it's pure evil. It's vile. It's wicked. Yes, it is. Stay blessed, beautiful people. And take it up with fasting and pray. And, um, yeah, be aware.